The woods are lovely, dark, and deep. But I have promises to keep, and miles to go before I sleep. And miles to go before I sleep. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow we can build a snowman. And that's all I'm going to sing of the song. It's hard to believe there's this incredible beauty here on these trails. I don't think I've ever seen the trails look this nice or been more compelled to walk on them in the snow. It's, uh, it's an awesome morning to get out here and pray and walk and enjoy just the beauty and the rarity of a snow covered Texas forest. Unbelievable. And I really hope that you enjoy the songs that I bring you. Just love this beautiful little spot here on the trails. Come down and you get to see where the polar bear the polar bear club likes to go skinny dipping in here. This is uh this is their whole we've got the rope there to help them get out. So if only I had someone else here to video, I would just jump in right now, just woo! But maybe another time. Here we have the tracks of some uh, ferocious animal that I've been hunting in the woods here with my incredible tracking hunting skills. You know, as you as you can tell by the footprints, it's probably maybe a, a small bear, maybe an average sized coyote or, or, or wolf, maybe even a especially ferocious skunk or very angry and aggressive rabbit. Um, am I afraid? No, no, I'm not afraid because, because I know that, uh, that God is with me. And uh, so I'm not afraid of this incredibly dangerous and ferocious. As, a, as an expert in outdoors activities, um, you have to decide when you come to a place like this, which way do you want to go? Do you want to go in there to that beautiful wooded area? Or do you want to go over here to the insurmountable, insurpassable river that has developed. And we all know what kind of a person I am. So I think we already know where I'm going. But look at this. This is the same raft, believe it or not, that Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn and Jim all used uh, to go down the river. And here it is. So anyway, I'll see you on the other side. Did I get wet crossing? the river I'd rather I'd rather not talk about that but uh, I did cross it and it just feels great over here it's a beautiful beautiful place I remember what it was like over there and I hated it compared to being over here this is a much better place here my uh, travels have taken me to this incredible waterfall um, Niagara Falls who's to say uh, it's incredible, the gallons of water that go over this fall every second. Um, this beautiful little area, this little hidden swimming hole. Is that bridge maybe a safer way to get across than that small raft-like bridge? I don't know. Would I have gotten wet going across that bridge? Probably not been in these woods for what feels like hours, days. I, uh, everything looks the same to me now. It's all just this white blanket. I feel like I've seen this stump like 400 times. I don't know if I'll get out, but if you find me in my phone, just know that I, I loved a woman named Diane and our four children with all my heart. And I hope that one day they'll get to see this. Um, I love you guys. Two roads diverged in a white wood, and I took the one and not the other. 
and it has made all the difference. You know, some of this stuff is pretty good. I should write this down. Here we have clear evidence, uh, footprints here of a very strong and mighty deer, maybe. Um, very powerful, uh, antlered animal, very dangerous. Perhaps even a, 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 a ram or a goat, or maybe some ferocious feral warthog of sorts. But um, I'm on my guard, and uh, yeah, I just, um, I'm not afraid of these footprints because I know that, uh, well, that God is with me. And, and I have my knife in case uh, something happens. So some people uh, asked me, like, while you're on the amazing walkabout, uh, did, you, did you want anything? Was there anything that you were missing? Um, like maybe a hat. Maybe a hat would have been nice. Um, maybe some gloves. I don't know. Um, those things would have been nice, but, you know, it would have taken away from the spon spontaneous feel of the adventure. It also would have taken away the freezing cold feeling in my ears. You know, as, as I walk through this, I remember two hobbits who walked through a bog that was like this. Sam, Bilbo, Mary, Pippin. I salute you with this video as I walk through a similar bog on my trip through this epic adventure. And step by step you'll lead me and I will follow you all of my days. I think I can barely make out the structure that leads, a path that leads out of these woods. I think, I think I'm almost there. I think I might, I might have made it, guys. This was a wonderful experience. It's beautiful. When, when else do you think I'll have a chance to walk in the beautiful woods here at SIL during a nice, gentle snowfall? Well, here it is. The end of my journey. I've made it to Cowan. And maybe there's a double entendre there when I say the end of my journey will end at Cowan. I finally made it back home to my beautiful wife. I made it through the forests behind the Wycliffe Center. And um, yeah, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Why did I go on the walkabout? For adventure, to discover something deep inside of who I am. Because it was fun. Would I do it again? Well, let's put it this way. The next time that it snows in Texas and I'm at the center because the roads aren't closed, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. What was the best thing about it? Well, something I realized is that every, every time you go on a walkabout, Every step takes you further and further from home. But if you stop and you look behind you and you very carefully follow the footprints you made in the snow back, you'll find that the road leads you back home. And that's the best thing, coming home.